What is up everybody, happy Blu-ray Tuesday. A little late on the upload, but I thought I might as well get it out there better late than never. Uh, we're gonna be going to Aaron Mills Park where we're gonna see uh, Walmart, a few Walmarts to see if they have it. Uh, a few of the more modern releases, more new releases, haven't really been getting wide releases. Like I wanted to check out the Star Wars 4Ks, but I couldn't find them at my local, uh, at my local Walmart. It's usually they're in Best Buys, but I don't wanna fucking go to Best Buy, I hate Best Buy. But uh, yeah, so let's go, let's see. My main uh, pickups I kind of want to get is uh, the Poltergeist and Lost Boys, but those are going for full price 4Ks, like $30 4Ks, so I don't know if I want to get that. And also, we're finally getting issued uh, 4Ks for the A24 horror films, Midsommar and uh, what's it called, and Hereditary. I haven't seen those movies yet, and I heard they're very polarizing films, either you love them or you hate them. And they're on Netflix right now, so I kind of want to check them out first before picking them up, but they're also cheap. They're like $24, so... Who knows if we'll see it there. We might pull the trigger, we might not. Anyways, let's go and check it out. All right, first first Walmart of the day. Very nice, we're at Airmost Town Center again. Because <laughs> a lot of people ask, where do I go? Airmost Town Center, this is usually where I find some good stuff here at the Walmart for the new release stuff. Because sometimes locations are weird. Some locations will have certain things, some locations won't. So hopefully this has at least something. I'm like 50-50 on whether I want to get anything, but you know, it'll be worth for the video. So let's go. And the sun's setting, it's nice. So boom. All right, we're here at the entertainment section. I see first thing. Is this last week? I don't know, I didn't go out last year, or last week. Oh, but uh, this is a new release, Black Phone. I've heard mixed things. Some people really like it, some people don't. 88 bucks. Which one are you looking oh, at? Oh, Platoon. Oops, they have the screen, oh, hear that? Scream Factory release of a shop factory release of a uh, platoon. If you want to see my review for this uh, honking piece of trash, click the card over there. You got Minions Rise of Shub. Rise of Shub. Then here you got Elvis. Elvis. Oh, these are cheap. These are cheaper than Amazon. Twenty-two bucks. Midsummer with the slip cover. Poltergeist. Uh, now we got some decisions to make, Ali. Well, which one did you want? Well. I've heard a lot of people really like this movie. So I've, <laughs> and these are all the... So I've heard a lot of people really like Hereditary, so I want to get that. It's only 20 bucks for a 4K. I heard the 4Ks are pretty good. But I heard this is also really good. Uh, but these are older releases, and then this is the new release. Yeah. So that'd be that'd be 70 bucks right there. I got The Witch recently, so... And there's also Poltergeist, so I don't know. Ugh, decisions. Because this is... I might get to get this because it's cheaper than Amazon. So, but I know, would you guys care if I did reviews for these? Cause I know these came out in the, in the US like a year ago. So I'll decide what I want and I'll, I'll tell you guys later. So boom. So yeah, here's the whole thing. They did have Crawl on 4K for 19 bucks, but that sold out quickly. Then they got Elvis, I don't know why I read Evil. Then they got Where the Crawdads Sing. Then they got Witch, but I got the OG. I got the imported version with a better slip cover. <sighs> That's a lot of 4K Blu-rays. That's a lot of money. I'm gonna do the calculations, I don't know. Cause will these be available everywhere? I don't know, A24? I'll decide. All right, we're at the second uh, Walmart. It's not as nice outside, but it's still something. I got what I wanted, but uh, you know, it's nice to see because I, w I was tempted do it for to not video. pick up some stuff because maybe slip covers were in A condition, but I'm like, if I don't find it, it might not be here because sometimes hey fucker because sometimes they don't have the things here so fingers crossed right no fingers... no <laughs> you don't want anything yeah. otherwise you would feel bad about getting it from there oh yeah that's true anyways let's go check it out all right we're at the new release section and they have the movie that was there sam rain oh i thought sam Raimi made this movie what was it, Sam? Crawl. I don't know. Is it Amber? I have no idea. They do have... They do have Hereditary. And they have all the other stuff here, too. They have the usual suspects. Did they have the movies you got from? Yeah. But yeah. Ethan Hawke. Yeah, dude. All of these 4K steelbooks for uh, Jurassic all those, World. Uh, Northman. Where? That's just a normal Blu-ray alley. Right. But they have Platoon here. Platoon. They have two copies of Platoon. Ooh. Why are they all articulated? 
even the ones all the, the loose phones. yeah loose discs so we have the black phone i've been here mixed things i heard people like it some people hate it then on this side all the minions 4ks are sold out it's more directed towards kids who are into that so yeah they got morbius halloween town one and two i want a blu-ray of this that's halloween. the precursor to halloween yeah this is where all the people uh at the myers curls go to start having uh okay oh yeah because like before you die your brain gets rushed with uh, endorphins so that's why people have like that like coming of god moment because their brain is getting whatever right i don't know let's go anyways very Wait, I want to check this. The main section. Oh yeah, we got this. The bins. The extended bins. With all the generic... Uh, oh, they got an ambulance. Ambulance. Ambulance on 4K. We got Spider-Man on 4K. E.T. on 4K. How come the 4Ks are strewn over? The one thing I haven't been seeing is the uh, Long Halloween. The Deluxe Edition. With 1 and 2 on 4K. A lot of things a lot of the same things that same harry potter set that i still need to get one day one day no rush but yeah this is basically what it's degraded into how come they're not setting up any halloween type stuff i mean there's halloween movies around here it's fit that but like you'd think they have like a cool setup i guess walmart doesn't really celebrate i mean they have some things like the nightmare before christmas very slim blu-ray Anyways, that was just Walmart. I already, I basically got everything. I mean, there's just everything that you've probably seen so far. These go in the dark. Anyways, anyways, let's get out of here. Let's go home and I'll show you what I got. Morbin time. Okay, wow. Uh, I went in expecting just to get one thing, and I got a, a bunch of things. This is probably the most I've new releases I've gotten in a single day. Because uh, usually I pick, I, I cherry pick sometimes on whether certain releases I want to get but all of these releases I wanted to get and I've been anticipating very much and uh you know I applied for a job so hopefully that comes through uh hopefully uh, yeah I'll be, I'll be I applied for a spirit Halloween so and not only because it's like it I'll get some extra cash but that sounds like a fun ass job easy money and I'm used to high stress intense workplaces like you know having to ring out like 50 people getting last minute Halloween costumes and I get to choose whatever music I want to get to wear whatever I want So it sounds like a fun idea. Maybe I'll make a video series out of it So uh, yeah, so I'm covered when it comes to that and if I don't get the job I don't know I'll sell my kidney or something on the black market <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the pickup starting off with the new releases today and I freaking hate this so much but uh stickers stickers galore and that is Poltergeist on 4K Blu-ray. There is two stickers on here, the Walmart sticker and this epilepsy warning sticker. This is another case of the French begotten because again, Poltergeist and then Poltergeist, uh, La Vengeance des Fantômes. So I guess, um, I don't know, the Revenge of the Ghosts or something. But dude, look at the spine, dog. Let's see if I can, let's see if this focuses on the spine. But uh, it's just, it's it's pretty horrendous. Oh, God damn. But it says Poltergeist and then Poltergeist again. La Vengeance de de Phantom, and it has the epileptic epilepsy sticker sticker on it and the Walmart sticker on it. I haven't seen this movie. I've heard really good things about. It. Let me see if I can try to take the sticker off without peeling it, without you know damaging that much. Of the slipcover, but I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this movie at all. I know Toby Hooper made it. I know Spielberg made this as his like unofficial sequel to uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Unofficially, at least that's where it says it on the Wikipedia page. It could be wrong, but uh, yeah. I also remember there being a scene where there's like a skeleton. I think this scene right here. Uh, I think it was a rumor, maybe, or is it real that they it was an actual human skeleton that was being used, and I think it cursed the set or something like that. I have no idea. But uh, let's see if I can remove this epilepsy sticker because I just hate this gaudy, bright yellow warning sticker on my slipcover. Uh, but you know, uh, I actually prefer the steelbook, but the steelbook I didn't want to spend that much money on. So for what, for 20, for 29 bucks, I'll pick up Poltergeist on 4K. Not the best image, but uh, for 4K, hopefully it's good. I'm I wanted I'll, I'll do this I'll review this first because I know a lot of people are reviewing the next title I'm about to show 
but Poltergeist on 4K, I'm excited to delve into this. I'll probably watch this tomorrow. So this will be coming out on Wednesday because it's currently 10 p.m. I and mean, I like to render in 4K, that'll take an hour. Then to upload it will take another hour. And then to f finally, you know, release it in 4K will take another hour, an hour and a half. So I'll just upload it on Wednesday afternoon and then the review will come Thursday and then reviews subsequently after that. But yeah, first pickup of the day, Poltergeist on 4K Blu-ray for 29 bucks. I wasn't planning on picking it up, but you know, ah, dude, it, it just it just look it looks nice. It looks it looks decent. I like the colors on the slip cover, and you know I've heard so many good things about it. Toby Hooper classic. I just had to pick it up. Next is another uh, 80s classic that I know a lot of people love that I've seen once or twice maybe, but it, I, I'm not nostalgic for it, and that is Kiefer Sutherland in The Lost Boys, another uh, situation where the, the spine shares the English and French as well on both sides, so that is a bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Uh, again, the imagery isn't uh, as interesting as I would have thought or would have hoped for, but again, I haven't watched the movie that much to know what this scene is about or how iconic of a scene this is from, so uh, I'll watch it and uh, I'll give my thoughts on it uh, because I know a lot of people are super nostalgic for this. I know a lot of people really love this movie. I know the song, that main song that plays is very iconic and they put it on all these YouTube videos. But yeah, let me take off this Walmart sticker. I know in the US they put it on top of the uh, the plastic, so. But yeah, The Lost Boys on 4K. I'll give this a spin. Hopefully it's good. Uh, Joel, Joel Schumacher made this. But this is Dolby uh, H, no Dolby Atmos. Uh, I guess it's a standard HDR10. Uh, no Dolby Vision, so that's whatever. Did this have Dolby Vision on it? This has... This is Dolby Audio, Dolby Master Audio. I don't know, no, no, probably just standard HDR10. So yeah, but yeah. So those were the main pickups that I know most people were. I made a poll uh, earlier in the community tab about these two movies and a few other releases. But most people were either getting Lost Boys or Poltergeist because I know Old Henry was out on 4K and a few other Blu-ray sets and those kind of things. But this, uh, these other pickups that I showed you, uh, these other things were exclusive to Canada. And that is number one, starting off with Midsommar. Uh, I know this is a very div divisive movie. Some people either really love it or really hate it. But dude, that slipcover is just so fantastic. Look at the artwork on it. It looks really fantastic. Even the back of it looks really nice. And of course, it's an A24 film. So, you know, Midsommar, my, yeah, Midsommar is, shares the full spine. And then the French, Mids, uh, what's it called? Solstice d'été, and I, even, I don't even mind the French on this, so that's really cool, that's what I like about it. And then, lastly, the last pickup, the, again, the other A24 horror film that I know this is universally loved. I remember reading bad things about it when it came out, but I think it was just some shitpost uh, reviewer. Let me just take out this slip, this uh, sticker nicely. And that is... Hereditary, another A24 horror film getting ready. Uh, I'm gonna do, do you guys want me to do reviews for these? I th I'm gonna do them anyway, but I just wanna know if there's, if people actually care about these, cause I know these are, I'm, per I'm guessing that these are the same transfers as the other releases that I know in the US you got a uh, another version of this and this was a limited release or whatever, like a, a special edition. Wow, there's a fucking, there's an IGN review on the back of this. What the fuck? What kind of world are we living on where IGN reviews are on the back of my 4K Blu-rays? Uh, but yeah, the artwork on this looks fantastic. Even the, um, even this, uh, what's it called? This Canadian exclusive hereditary slip cover looked really good. Only thing is they had the witch too, but I prefer the American slip and I actually have, I actually have the American slip that was imported. So that is very nice. I need to check this out. I haven't seen this yet. But uh, yeah, so uh, Hereditary on 4K Blu-ray. I've heard really good things about it. I heard really good things about the movie in general. 4K apparently is pretty good too. And A24 4K. So far the A24 4Ks I've seen look stellar. Uh, things like Green Knight and things like Everything Everywhere All at Once. So I have extremely high expectations for this. And if they're good, I'll, I'll put them in my top 10 of the year because technically for me, this was a new release that was never released in Canada. Uh, and it's a new release, so I don't want to hear shit from you. <laughs> but anyways, those are the pickups. This is this is this is probably the most I've picked up in a Blu-ray Tuesday. So we got Lost Boys, 
Poltergeist, Hereditary, and Midsommar. Anyways, that has been it. That has been the hunting video. I have made from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell. And again, because it's free and it means a whole lot to me. Anyways, please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning. Whenever you're watching this, please stay safe and God bless. Peace, cheers, and long with physical media. See you guys. Peace out.